Welcome back to the channel, you guys. This is Cameron at Cameraman Fish, and today, guys, we got a mystery talk about. So we actually had a pause in our subscription for about three or four months. I'm not sure, but today or this month is December's box. So December 2020 mystery talk box. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside, man. Man, it's been a little minute, guys. So of course you get a sticker as well. Cool little Pac-Man sticker. Lately, I've been, I was putting them on my tackle box. But ever since I got my kayak, I've been putting them on my kayak. So uh, AKA Big Bird. So. Um, we got some tips and tricks, the little dibble, and then we got a what's inside card. So I'm going to read off the Rip Knocker for $9.99, the Castic Mano for $7.99, the Lunker Hunt Impact Slash 112S Jerk Bait for $6.99, the Spear Point Performance Hooks for $5.49, and the Samantha's Bait, Samantha, Samantha Shot for $4.66, Carl Slash, or Carl Slash Drop Shot Stick Weights for $3.49, and Big Bait Bites Swimming for 349 so let's go ahead and jump inside so i'm gonna save the best for last of course but we're gonna go ahead and start out with the jenko rip knocker right here a little uh little screen thing we'll open it up and show you guys this fantastic color i think it shows it on here i think it okay so it's gannet green so it's a perfect little crank bait. I'm going to zoom in for you guys. Don't you guys worry. But I'm going to zoom in. And of course, it has some rattles in there. And I think it's a BB. It's like one big old BB. And then some rattles in there. So that's going to be a unique little sound uh, for those bass to key up on. Um, the color is Gannet Green. It is about two inches or maybe three. Yeah. Probably like three. Two. Something like that. But that also the body, man. The body is very thin. And I like that for a little bit of bait because it's easier to bring through grass, rocks, and structure or whatnot. So that makes it a whole lot easier whenever it's bringing through this grass. And I really do like this color. It's like a blue-good color, but most importantly, it's like a transparent green and like a purple, like a clear in the middle. So I like that a very lot. So let's go ahead and move on to the next bait. Okay, we got this Castic Mano crankbait right here. Another, oh, we actually got a crankbait this time. This color is considered chartreuse blue and it is two inches, it's five sixteenth ounces, and it dives two to four feet, okay? So perfect, this will be a perfect crankbait for uh, for spring and fall, for whenever those bass are pushing up shallow, especially during spring, those bass are pushing up shallow, you need something shallow like a crankbait, but most of the time, springtime, you're not really throwing a crankbait because they're on beds, so you're mostly throwing like bottom bait so but either way it still would be good for uh, spring but most importantly it'd be good for fall because those bass come up towards fall or come up towards the bank to feed up so this would be a perfect bait for fall but now we're going to be transitioning to winter so when they're going a little bit deeper sometimes in the beginning of winter they're a little bit uh half or the bass are a little going out deep half are still shallow so especially at the beginning but let's move on to the next bait we got the okay so we got the best bait next but i'm going to skip over that we're going to go over to the spear point hook so these are some drop shot little hooks i didn't know spear point I actually made some of these i got some of their uh texas rig oh yeah texas rig hooks like ewg hooks and they're a pretty great bait um but i never tried the circle hook so i can't wait to try that so nothing uh, much to that okay well they're a size two and they're a six pack too by the way i forgot that i'm sorry so uh next up we got the semantis uh shots right here and these are i forgot to take the crank bait out the pack i'm sorry guys well i'll show you guys because this is pretty clear to the pack but um we got the semantis baits the semantis shot okay so basically these are a little drop shot bait and they're about three inches i say and it is a let's see how many comes in a pack actually and i think this color is i had to actually look it up what was this color i think this color was like i forgot it was something weird i'm pop it up on the screen but we got a two that's three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so we got a ten pack right here ten pack they're about three inches i say and this bait i think is made for a drop shot and it's kind of like a rounded the head is kind of rounded like a like a swim bait and then it's kind of flat on the bottom and and then almost like a flat tail too as well so it kind of reminds me of a flat sided uh swim bait little pattern to a swim bait that's what it kind of reminds me next up we got the uh, big bait bite swimming crawl so we got some little crawls right here the color is considered alabama crawl and I think these are about three inches too, guys. I mean, they all look about three, three and a half, three, three inches, three and a quarter, three, and something like that. 
but this time we have a two, three, four, five, six. We got six back, guys. Color is considered Alabama crawl. And man, the body on these are beefed up. These things are thick, guys. So I don't know if that's good for whenever you're putting on the back of your trailer of a jig. I think it would be being that it would stay on there a whole lot more. And then the appendages are a little bit thin. I would think that would be good for whenever this bait is like falling through or like, you know, you throw it on a weightless presentation is falling like that these appendages are going to be flapping just like that so i think that's going to be perfect uh, that they're thin like that but then again when they're thin like that they're easy a little bit easier to tear so that's not on the good side but next up we got the um or we actually skipped over one but we got some drop shot weights now i actually needed these because i have no more drop shot hooks uh weights in my bag so i, I can't uh can't can't be thankful enough for that but the last bait you guys have been seeing it the whole time but you guys don't know what it was this freaking jerk bait, guys. A freaking Lunker Hunt Impact 12. Uh, a Lunker Hunt Impact Stash 12S jerk bait, guys. This thing is freaking 12. This thing dives 12 feet, guys. What the heck? What am I do? What am I gonna do with this? I don't like fishing uh, lakes right now because I don't have any luck at them. But it weighs 5 8 ounces and 4.3 inches. I mean, come on. The color is considered slash zero. Oh, well, actually bone white. I mean, it looks like a fantastic jerk bait. Don't get me wrong, guys. But 12 foot, what the hell am I going to do with this? Come on, um, S2 Tackle Box. Like, I don't know, man. But overall, I think this box was, honestly, it was like a fair box. I only liked it maybe three out of the seven baits that I liked it in this box. Now, the real question would be is, am I going to go back to pausing my subscription? I think I am going to go back to pausing my subscription uh, just because uh, I feel like S2 Tackle Box does a whole lot better during the the beginning of the year like fall or uh fall and, and spring i think they do a whole lot better fall spring and summer i think they do a whole lot better than um most when they're getting into like late fall and winter and i don't think they do so good but that's it man i hope you guys enjoyed the video um you guys stay tuned for part two man I hope you guys enjoyed remember to like comment and subscribe guys and as well follow me on instagram at cam the man uh cam the man fishing i'll catch you guys on the next one peace Thank you.